Good morning, guys. I am getting ready to start cooking this breakfast. I'm gonna do my dishes from yesterday. Normally, I don't leave dishes in the sink, and I went to went up to my bedroom last night. I was just gonna take a break from cleaning and doing what I'd been doing, and decided I'd watch a movie. I watched X Men: The Dark Phoenix, and let me tell you, that was the worst most god awfulest piece of gutter trash of a movie that I have watched in a long time. Uh, I am really glad that we did not waste the money to go see that in theaters. So, I would not recommend that movie by any stretch of the imagination. It was terrible. Uh, I'm just going to set my dish strainer up here. When, I, when I'm not using this thing, I leave it in the cabinet under the sink. Let's see. Apparently, I left my window open last night in the kitchen, which is where I have y'all propped up now. I have a bigger fly problem, but I think I've taken care of most of them. I had a, a small can of that, like, flying insect killer or whatever. Not wasp killer, but, like, stuff that kills flies specifically. So, took care of all those little guys, I believe. I'm grateful for. I hate flies. I mean, they're just so irritating. They're, they're just because they're irritating. I mean, you know, they keep getting in your ear and, you know, all that. But, uh, anyway, I'm scrubbing out my sinks, too, because it's been a while since I've done that. should have done that last night when I was cleaning the kitchen. I didn't really think about it. So, I scrubbed them out. Hope everybody's having a good morning. Looks like it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in the East Tennessee, or Middle East Tennessee, whatever you want to call it, because we're not really East Tennessee where I live, we're not really Middle Tennessee where I live, we're somewhere in between. So... You know, a lot of people are fascinated by what other people use to wash their dishes, which I've never really understood, but um, I'm a pretty simple guy. I've got to uh, always have one of these green Brillo scrubby pad type things, and I always have one of these. I love these things. They're awesome. I brought, bought this one yesterday, so just unscrew that top and fill her on up with Dawn dish soap. And I prefer Dawn. I know there are a lot of other cheaper brands that kind of get the job done the same way, but I just, I prefer Dawn dish soap. Put the top back on. Beautiful. So, all right. Put the sink scrubbed out. I'm going to rinse it out real quick. Got my Captain America apron on again today. Do enjoy my Captain America apron. So, stop my sink up there and fill it up with some hot, soapy water. Now, I, I get mine just as absolutely as hot as my sink will go. Um, some people like it cooler than that, but for me, kill more germs, the hotter it is. So, while that's filling up, we can get started on our syrup for the French toast. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Oh, that light's actually working today. I had to get rid of this thing. The, the hood vent over top of my stove. We're going to put a new one in. This one's uh, starting to fall out, of the, fall out of socket. and It's really old and just needs to be replaced. So, Alright, blender works. So, what we're going to do in our blender... And I forgot to buy any fruit juice, so... It's really just going to have to be berries and maybe a little bit of sugar and water. Uh, I knew I forgot something yesterday, but I'll take one whole bag of these berries and just dump them right on into the blender like that. And so this is what we have. And we're going to put the top on that like so. And we're going to let those blend for a minute. And while they're blending, I'll come over here and 
and get a glass and we will put some uh, tool or we'll drop everything. Alright, so they're starting to blend up from the bottom, which is what we want. My dog, she, uh, she likes to beg too, that's Brandy. I'll, uh, I'll introduce you guys to her again later. She's just gone out for the morning, so. Alright, so we're gonna have some water to run. So that's really all we're going to do to that right now. And we're just going to kind of set that to the side. We've put the top back on. We're going to let it simmer, marinade, whatever you want to say. Uh, as Garth Brooks in Saturday Night Live would say, he's going to simmer down now. Good girl, Brandy. Going potty outside. Still working on a little bit of uh, house breaking issues with her from time to time. Nothing major. You know, I've got the the biggest dog crate money can buy for for uh, you know for a big dog to be inside and you know if she has an accident inside the house like if we're in the if we're in the bedroom sleeping and and she has an accident while we're sleeping in the bedroom she always uses the puppy pad which is very good but if she does that the next night she sleeps in her crate and it kind of reinforces that and I take her outside after she potties in the house whether she potties on the pad or not and that kind of reinforces that that good idea of oh I'm supposed to do that outside not here so she, she's good about it I really really like her as a dog she's, she's smart but she's also a little uh, I think she's a little touched in the head sometimes uh, let's see I need to go ahead and get the meat out uh, set my cream cheese back now. And I need my other bag of berries for the cream cheese stuff. Right, watch out, ladybug. Alright, so I got my cream cheese setting out to uh, to come up to room temperature, so I'm gonna just run through these dishes real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Um So, you'll notice, all of you, I don't call you haters because I'm not famous. I don't have haters. I just have people that want to post negative crap on my channel. Um, you'll notice that, hi Brandy, you'll notice that none of your uh, comments last more than about 10 seconds. I delete them or the mods delete them. And, uh, it's going to keep happening. So I really don't know why you waste your... Uh, Waste your keystrokes. Uh, anyway, so to address the one comment, Stephanie and I, neither one think we're famous, pal, uh, or dear, whoever you are. Uh, we don't think we're famous. And yes, we know that part of our life is out on social media, but that's the only part you get to know about, so it doesn't matter. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. So... You know, I told you guys I'd love to go live. You can't go live on YouTube unless you have a thousand subscribers. So if you all would like to have uh, a live chat with me, I'm I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, but we got to get up to a thousand subscribers, which is going to be insanely hard because, like I said, I know I'm not famous. I don't really have a whole lot to offer. Um, I will start doing some more cooking videos, like the one we did last night, the one we're doing this morning, and. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever you got to do. Help get us to a thousand, and if we get to a thousand, I will go live that day. No matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, I will go live that day. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys these last night. We got Walmart doing a demonstration of a new mandolin slicer that they're coming out with, uh, which is actually a nice little slicer. I don't need it because I already have one, and uh, I have one of those kind of like a slap chop things, but Ultimately, I just like to use my knives. I've got a pretty decent set of knives from culinary school, and, and I just really enjoy cutting and chopping all the food myself. Um, so that's why I did. I wouldn't have bought it anyway, but it was a good deal. It's 45 bucks. Uh, you got a slicer, a, a shredder, a peeler. The, sli the uh, mandolin slicer had all the blades attached inside. 
which is really safe for a lot of you folks that have never used a mandolin slicer before where you've had to change out the blades. One with all of them built in that's dishwasher safe is actually pretty nifty. Um, but wasn't something I was willing to buy or spend money on because, like I said, I just don't need it. Now, ultimately, I would not use it as much as the next person. So, all right, we well, are almost done with these dishes. Go ahead and rinse this first batch off. Um, so, anyway, once you comment your favorite dish, on this video. Comment your favorite dish and if it's within my my wheelhouse to make. There are some things I, I'm, I'm definitely man enough to tell you I can't do that or I'm not familiar with that. Um, comment your favorite dish and and I'll uh, I'll do my best to incorporate that into a cooking video. Take some requests. Um, I'm going to start maybe doing uh, I wouldn't call them dinner parties but you know inviting uh, a friend or two over for dinner once a week. Um, once I get the house cleaned up to where I'm not ashamed to have have people here. Not that I'm ashamed to have people here. I'm just, you know, it's been a while since I've really shown my house any TLC. So I'm going to get caught up on that. I was talking to my best friend, kind of. I would say he's my best friend. I was talking to him last night and said, you know, when I'm, when I'm through with what I'm doing, like painting the ceiling and, you know, if basically if my big family room and my kitchen were company ready, I would... Uh, I told him I'd have him and his wife up for dinner and, and maybe their daughter that, that lives close. Um, they're really good people. So, don't know what I would make for them yet, but they're really they're really good people. They've seen me through some difficult times and uh, they were very active volunteers with me while I was in the Scouts. And um, I mean, they're still active volunteers just like me, but I'm just not their, their district executive anymore. Very important when you guys wash your uh, electric skillets, make sure you get the lid really good all the way around the top, all the way around the seams, the crevices. Okay. A lot of people almost neglect the lid. They're like, oh, it's just steam. It doesn't get dirty. No. Don't clean your stuff the right way, please. All right, so that in there. Um, I don't normally wash my knives with soap. I normally only see scalding hot water, but my water's running, not cold, but it's not running as hot as it normally does, so I put a little soap on today, uh, which is not a bad thing. You just got to be careful. Sometimes soap can have a negative impact on the steel and all of that. All right, so this morning we're going to be cooking the French toast, putting it in a pan, uh, to take with us, we'll cook the fried potatoes, put them in that same pan, kind of half and half deal. Um, and I won't cook the eggs until I get to the office. Uh, eggs are much better fresh, and anybody who tells you anything different is lying to you. Um, so what I'm going to do here is cook, we're going to cook the breakfast meat here. And we're going to cook the, um, the French toast here. It only takes five minutes to get to my work. We're, we're 4.2 miles from, from my office, from the house. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, at some point next week, I think I'm going to start riding my bike to, to and from work. Um, I mean, I used to ride more than that every day anyway. I mean, we're, we're talking about eight miles. And when I was in Scouts trying to earn the bicycle and merit badge, I was riding, you know, eight and ten miles a day anyway. Uh, over at my grandparents' house, where I moved, I moved in with them when I was 17, almost 18. But uh, at their house, there's this little loop, you know, one one road that goes around this big square plot of land, and it's right at one mile if you if you go around the whole thing. And I would ride that thing all the time. I'm actually riding the same bike that uh, my granddad, my so uh, my grandmother worked for Sea Ray. That's where she retired from, Sea Ray Boats. And the Mongoose Bike Company used to come to Sea Ray with this big truck, and they'd have all these bikes, and they'd be selling them at, like, wholesale manufacturing-type prices for all the employees. It was like a deal that Sea Ray and Mongoose had worked out somehow, I don't know, uh, which was really cool because, you know, every 
four or five years or when we'd outgrow them, my mom and papa would get all, you know, that three grandchildren, they'd get us all a new bicycle, uh, which was really cool. The bike that I'm riding now is a 21 speed uh, mongoose mountain bike, and I have put, there's, a, there's at least five, six hundred miles on this bike. Um, I get my cutting board and my electric skillet, and we're done with the dishes. Um, you know, I, I love that bike. I put, we put new tires on it a couple of times. It's got a new chain. The paint's chipping everywhere. Uh, it's got a, one of those huge, like, gel seats for comfortabil comfortability. I don't think that's really a word, but I just did it. Um, I did a 58-mile bike ride on that bike, which is why we put the huge seat on there. Uh, for the cycling merit badge back then, you had to do two 10-mile rides, two 15-mile rides, two 25-mile rides, and a 50-mile continuous ride in less than eight hours. So that was uh, that was really something. Um, I didn't think I would do it. It was the last merit badge I earned as a scout. Um, but I was also in the best shape of my life back then, too. But, I mean, you're talking my senior year of high school. Um, so, easy to do. But, I am looking forward to getting back on it. We just put brand new tires on it uh, about four or five months ago, my granddad and I did. Um, so, super excited to, to hop back up on that seat and, and go to town and ride around. And, uh, I got a couple people in my rotary club that ride bikes every day and, or every other day, but... They're, they're a little more ambitious than I'm ready to be right off the bat. I mean, I've got a guy that's, uh, I think he's probably in his 50s, and he's riding 25 and 30 miles a day. And while I am sure I'll build up to that, I don't want to start off with that, so I've not really talked to him about riding with him or anything. Um, also, important to remember when you're washing these electric skillets, don't put the electrical part in the water. you got to kind of hold it. They're awkward to clean. Like, you got to hold this thing up out of the water and that but um, you know they're still worth still worth it with the amount of use you get out of this thing and, and how easy it is the copper one I mean this this guy is really easy to clean he's almost completely non-stick and it's okay if you get it a little wet you can dry it but you know if you submerge it underwater then you really gotta take care to dry the whole element and get all that out of there but um, for now I think we're okay so that's the dishes they're done I'm gonna go ahead and dry this thing out with my with my hand towel because this is clean. Out of boom, it's beautiful. All right. Make sure we didn't have any water hanging out over over around that element. Like that. All right. Let's come back over here. So, when I put the electric skillet on the stove top, I'm going to turn my kitchen light on now. There we go. Definitely brightens up the room a bit. Let's set you guys down right there. So, what we're going to do now is... Easy up there. I'm going to grab one of our Pyrex bowls. Okay. Um, I got these guys at an, at an auction one time for about five bucks. It's a set of three or four nesting Pyrex bowls. Pretty good deal. Um, love Pyrex. Set that over there. I've got to put a, uh, a trash bag in my trash can. I forgot to take that out last night before I went to bed. I didn't put a can in, uh, bag in the can. All right. What we're going to do is we are going to take our cream cheese spread and just run around the outside of that with a knife and pop that whole thing into the bowl, okay? And looks like I've got one fly just kind of lingering out here trying to get a taste of the cream cheese. And what I'll do is now that we're done with this thing, I'm going to set this open cream cheese container over there and kind of let the, the fly go do his business over there, not over here where I'm cooking. I hate flies. Like, they're just so irritating. And they know it, too. Like they know it. Maybe I'll bring that back over here because this is where he seems to want to be. Um, there you go. Get in there. That's all for you, buddy. 
See if he gets in there, I'll just put the lid on it and get rid of it. Um, so, and I can use that for a little trash container. Forgot I had another cream cheese spread in the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and use it too, um, just because I'm cooking for, what, eight or nine people this morning, so I don't think that one little tub would have been enough to, to make, make it the way that I like to make it. All right. Put that over there. Give him a double, double opportunity, Mr. Fly. I don't normally do that, so you should consider yourself lucky. All right. So, oh, and look at this, guys. I'm wearing a T-shirt. I do have them. Maybe I should turn that light off. It's got uh, some, some bad lighting, doesn't it? Oh, well. we all know I'm terrible with camera work anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pour these uh, mixed berries right on top of that cream cheese. Beautiful. And we're just going to kind of... I'm going to put this in the microwave. I'm not going to turn it on, but I'm going to put this in the microwave and let it sit and come up to room temperature while we're cooking the other stuff because we don't need it until right at time to, to cook the French toast. And the meat's gonna take a little longer than that to prep and get ready, so we're good there. All right. Bring you back over here for a second. I'm gonna put a bag in the trash can. We'll set you guys right back up there. Brandy's now stretched out along the side of the house in the back. Which is good. She likes to sit there because my neighbor that helps me take care of them when I'm out of town, she comes over and pets on them and loves on them. And Brandy really likes her. her and, well, Brandy likes her and her husband and her mom and dad. They all live together in her house next door. Um, Lady likes all of them except for her husband. She, she hates her husband for some reason. Uh, absolutely does not want him around. But what are you going to do? Lady, lady's a protector. You wouldn't think it because she's, you know, 26 pounds of pure terror. And she's only about, what, 12 inches tall. But she's a protector. If it came down between you or me, she's going to she's gonna try and take you out with everything she's, everything she's got. And that ain't a lot. Um, So we got a bag in the trash can. I'll leave you guys right there for just a second. Mr. Fly, and we didn't have any open food over there, which is good. Didn't have any food over there at all. But what we're going to do now is we're going to wipe down that counter now. Um, it really teaches me to leave the door open or the window open, though, because this has happened before. And I really despise that when it happens. Oh, one of my dispatchers is messaging me. She's like, don't worry about breakfast. I'm like, no, you're getting breakfast. Like, I have gone through the trouble. So, I'll wipe this counter off real quick. Scratch it, which makes it worse. That counter off too. Oh my God, she's making All right, there we go. So, what we're gonna do now? Is set you guys. I can't do that because you're gonna fall. Set you guys up there. How's that? Uh, what we're gonna do now is we are going to take a cutting board, red for meat although that's not a necessity. We're going to cut our Kaneka sausage. We're going to fry some bacon, and we're going to fry some regular sausage. 
trying to cook all that bacon. Uh, let's see here. Do I have one of those big pans here? Oh, I do not. Snap. Normally I bake my bacon. I love baked bacon. I think it turns out better. It's more consistent. It's less mess, less stress, but that's all right. I'll cook everything in the electric skillet this morning. No big deal. So what we're gonna do is we are going to plug this bad boy back up. Like so. I'm gonna start with the bacon. No. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the bacon. Get our knife. All right, we're just gonna cut that along that top seam just like that. Gonna open it just like that. And that way we can kind of bend the package open and that whole thing will just slide right out onto our cutting board. Boom. Now, what I like to do with bacon, make it more manageable, is I cut it in half. Um, to me, and especially if you're frying it, to me that helps keep the bacon uh, formed up as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay all these in our electric skillet. And I put them pretty close together because they do shrink up. Easier to do the first round of because uh, the grease isn't all built up yet, not popping yet. Easy now, don't touch the skillet, Terry. That's stupid. Come on now. Now, this is applewood smoked bacon. Like I said, I just love the flavor that applewood smoked bacon has. It's, uh, I remember the first time I ever had it, I was like, what is this godsend of a thing that we're eating today? And my granddad's like, it's applewood smoked bacon. And I'm like, I don't know what it is, but I love it. So, right, easy now, easy now. Get down there. There we go. All right, so. Wash my hands real quick. We're all for it. Nothing to joke about. Alright, I'm going to grab a new hand towel. I only have one smoke alarm in this house, and it's what I call migratory. When I'm cooking, I take it, I take it to the other end of the house. I just keep buying hot water here. Uh, if there's a fire in the kitchen, I'll put it out. But, so, beautiful, beautiful bacon. Got my little handheld tongs here. So, they're uh, almost a uh, foot long, so that tells you how big my hands are, but... Uh, I love these little tongs. I don't remember where I got them, but love them. We got our bacon going, and our sausage is already pattied out. I didn't bother buying stuff to patty out. I don't, to me, it's not worth the effort. And I like Swaggerty's brand, so if they've already got it pre-pattied, why not just use it? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cut open our Kaneka. And we're going to pull out this bad boy here. The little one, I'm going to kind of roll back up in its packaging and put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to eat that myself. Uh, I might make myself a taco tomorrow morning before I go on the hike with my Cub Scouts. Now, what I've done is I've cut this bad boy in half. What we're going to do is we're going to slice it on the bias, okay? And, you know, for those of you who don't know what that means, that is kind of an angled cut. And the first little bent part is going to have to kind of be straight. But... Talking about thin angled cuts where you end up with something that looks like this. Okay? And about that thick. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn that kitchen light off for a second. Oh. So you're gonna end up with something that looks that's better. Looks like this, it's about yay thick. Some people like this like like I said, barbecued, like they just grill it on the grill, and that's it's good that way too. 
I like mine fried up in a pan for breakfast sausage. A lot of people don't eat this as breakfast sausage. They eat it more like you know, kielbasa or Polish sausage, uh, which is fine that way too. It's good on a hot dog bun. Not saying there's anything wrong with that. This is just my preferred way of eating it. So today we're feeding the A side of day shift. So that is uh, my telecommunicators, uh, the, the men and the women that pick up when you call 911. Uh, they are first responders, the literal first responders, because you know you could have the best police force, sheriff's office, EMS service, rescue squad, fire department, fire and rescue, um, helicopter pilots, air med, air med uh, folks. You have the best of all those people in your town, but without somebody at a communication center or central dispatch unit to tell them where to go, they're just a bunch of folks who look good in uniform. And they've been just driving around aimlessly looking for stuff to do. So my folks take all the calls for every agency in our county except for the Tennessee Highway Patrol. They are centrally dispatched by their own units all the way across the state. Um, But we're cooking for A-side, so I've got six that would work today. Um, one of them will probably not eat breakfast because they don't come in until like 3 o'clock. But if there's some left, we'll put it in the refrigerator and they can eat it if they want to when they get there. But uh, the ones that would be there early enough for breakfast would be Misty, my supervisor for the day, Deidre, her assistant supervisor for the day, or floor supervisor. I don't know what that was. Um, turn my bacon up just a smidge. Um, Amy, uh, who is uh, great, she's normally on our city PD. Oh, good girl, Brandy. Well, potty again. Brandy really is a good dog. She just needs a little more attention uh, in the training department, which is what I'll be working on over the next little while. I think she's got a little touch of uh, tummy ache too, though. So, and I hate that for her. I really do. I hate when my when my girls are sick. She's coming up to the window again. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. She's mad at me because she didn't get to sleep upstairs last night, but it's because she has a tummy ache. Um, she won't. She will not let herself get sick in her crate. She will let herself get sick on my bed or in my floor, and you know nothing. Nothing worse than stepping in a fresh pile of dog sick in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna turn my kitchen light back on now. Lady can smell meat cooking, so she is uh, in the floor, ready to beg, aren't you? Aren't you? She's a mess. And just a second here, guys. dispatcher a message saying no I'm prepping it already or cook, cooking it already I prepped it last night we're getting breakfast so we are almost ready to flip this first batch of bacon turn the heat up a little more again um, I will go ahead for the sake of time and what we're doing today I'm gonna go ahead and grab out another pan and we're gonna go ahead and cook the sausage and the regular sausage and then we'll cook the Kaneka. So I've got that pan turned up on high. We'll pop this bad boy open here. There's only eight patties of sausage anyway because like I said I didn't know what kind of breakfast meat my folks would, would want to eat so I just kind of got a hodgepodge. The only thing I didn't get was country ham which is one of my favorite breakfast meats but I figured three is enough. Put this in the pan. Ooh, boy, I smell the eye burning off a little bit. That's how long it's been since I've cooked a meal here. My goodness. One thing that I do want for this house that uh, my landlord and I are working on getting is a uh, glass top stove. Shows on television, I don't recognize it. Um, I just prefer glass top stuff. I mean, they're easier to keep clean, they cook more evenly. I don't have to worry about getting stuff in the eyes or anything like that because I do cook on high most of the time. And 
that irritates a lot of people. They're like, it creates smoke. It, you know, you can't cook the food evenly. And I'm like, no, that's how you cook food evenly in my book. So we're going to flip this bacon like so. Now, I don't know how you guys like your bacon. Feel free to comment uh, how y'all like your bacon. I prefer mine with some chew to it. Not like I don't want to be like sitting there chewing fat for an hour, but I don't like overly crispy bacon. I definitely will not eat it if it's burnt. Um, but I've flipped all that. I'm going to grab a fork to flip the uh, sausage with. Ah, gnats, fly, whatever you want to call it. Very irritating. Very irritating. So, easy now. Don't be popping at me. Be careful when you're cooking bacon. Grease does pop. Be careful if it pops near you. Best, best thing I can tell you, don't jerk back. If it pops, most of the time it's a very minuscule amount of grease anyway. Take it like a man. But don't like stick your hand over it either. Like keep your distance. Be respectful of the pan and what you're doing, uh, and be cognizant of what you're doing. But you know, don't stress over it too much. You have to have a pretty big accident in the kitchen to get a really bad burn with bacon grease. All right, so I'm gonna finish cooking this meat, and I will start another video shortly. Like I said, I don't know how to edit anything yet, so I'm gonna have to be two separate videos for y'all this morning. But I'm going to finish cooking this meat, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to, uh, to cook the French toast. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.